Hey, this is going to be a great time. Um, went through, opened up the hood. You know what? Whenever there's something behind the lock that don't, aren't just drawn there, you want to open it up? Well, I had to take and get a grinder out and go through to open this hood. And you're not going to believe what I found in there. Stay tuned. You'll get to see. And don't laugh too much. I made a, a few mistakes along this journey. So uh, uh, check it out. I hope you have a good time. Take care. So this is the hood. You can see the green paint chipping out through it. And you can also see um, it's got some real, looks like it has a bit of a checkered past. Um, the biggest issue here is that I have pulled on the inside thing in the glove box and pulled and pulled and pulled and it will not come undone. Um, you can see someone's already taken a bar to it and you can see it's all kind of crinkled up. And uh, that tells me that someone else hasn't been able to get it apart. I read... And uh, someone told me that the best way of getting this apart was to take a grinder to it and grind that handle and use the handle as sort of like undoing the nuts. So um, as you can see, the hood is, is no great shapes. I do have a new hood for it, but uh, because the hood is in not, not very good shape, I'm, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to try grinding that uh, handle and, uh, and I'll make a bit of a video about it and I'll let you see how I make out here. So uh, hang on. This is, this is, this is. Walter is finest. You know what? Just because someone said, I have a favorite saying that mere humans put it together so mere humans should be able to fix it. Well, here's the handle and I'm gonna just take and grind it off right here and right here and probably hook this on with a wrench or something and try unwinding this and see if I can't unhook that. Safety first, I am wearing goggles. Oh, that's hot. Wow. Man, oh. My fingers are just smoking. Man, that's hot. Don't ever grab something right after you're done grinding it. It will burn your fingers. That was really hot. I burnt my finger. <laughs> I told you, I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, number one thing is, uh, A, use goggles, and B, it, it's already kind of coming loose, so I'm gonna get a wrench and try to see if I can't take that off now. Still really hot. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, there's like a bolt holding that side on. And you can see there's a bolt right there holding that side on. So they both just wind into the handle and the kind of handle kind of functions like a nut. Hey, <laughs> tip number one, if you lick your fingers, and blow on them, 
it helps when you got a bad burn. <laughs> so uh, let's let's continue to work on this and see if I can't get this loose. Okay, guys, here it is. Okay, it's not hot anymore. That's good. Kind of hoping I'd see a whole bucket of cash in here. Or just about anything. There's a thing that was all messed up, and here's the line that goes right into the um, glove box up there. And, and I pulled and pulled and pulled on that, and it would not unpop this. That's why I had to grind the handle. You know what? Maybe not I've got a bucket of cash, but look at that. Bit of a hole there, but it's in great shape. I mean, for a car that's over 40 years old, hey, hey, a toggle switch from Prince's Auto, and looks like almost a full set of hooks and, and, and stuff. You know what? That's going to come in really handy. Um, when I'm pulling out some of the seals, I know I need to pull out. I heard that they're a bit, a bit of a pain to get out. So, yeah. Hey, I'm pretty happy. This is great. All right. It wasn't quite like opening up the Al Capone um, tomb or something like that. But anyway, it was kind of fun to get into that trunk and check out what's in there. And I, I, I'm just thrilled with how good a shape this body's in. Yeah, there's some surface rust. Yeah, it's got a few dings here and there. But for a vehicle that's over 40 years old, uh, you know, 1971, um, it's, it's really close to 50 years old. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. So anyway, don't forget, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, and, uh, and, and follow the, the misadventures of Walter. Um, yeah. And all of the, the, pain that I went through in, in getting this open and I, I learned a few things stuff I've learned many times already uh, but uh, have yourself a great day I uh, look look forward to getting a few more videos up here soon take care now bye now